Hello everyone, welcome again to another Jira Cloud tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about reports in Jira. So this will be the introductory video on the reports that are available in Jira. And once we do the introduction about the reports and what kind of reports are available in Jira, then we'll get into the details of the reports that are available in Jira. So let's get started and to get through the report so basically as we know that in jira cloud there are next gen projects and the classic projects so the reports in different projects will be different so in the classic scrum and kanban if you go and see the reports so in the scrum you will find a lot more reports as compared to kanban so we'll go to the scrum project first and to open the reports you go to the reports in the left hand side so if you go back let me go back and hover over so here is the reports uh, option here if you click on the reports it will open all the reports in your classic scrum project now reports are mainly categorized into three categories so if you see these are the agile reports so like burn down burn up chart sprint report etc velocity cfd uh, version report so these are all categorized as the agile reports then the next category is around the issue analysis so if you want to analyze the issues based on so for example average age report or created versus versus resolved issues report etc so this is these are the reports that are available to analyze the issues within the project then we have the forecast and management report. So these reports are around the time tracking or the workload, version workload. So what sort of workload is there for a particular, you know, user or a version, etc. So that comes into the forecast and management section of the report. Then in the other section, you have this workload pie chart report. So these are, you know, like the default reports, but in case you install any add-on say for example you have the uh, test management add-on as well you might get more reports in the report section of the project so now these are the reports for the scrum project or the classic scrum project now let's go to the other projects and see what all reports are available by default so for example if you go to the classic kanban project then we'll have different reports available in the kanban project so if you go to the report section in the kanban you will see cumulative flow diagram cfd and control chart are the two reports that are available in the agile section and then you have issue analysis reports which are almost similar as we have seen in the scrum project and then forecast and management reports are also similar then there is other report as well right so these are the reports in the Kanban project. The only difference most of the time will be in the agile section of the report because Kanban is more about the continuous flow of work. So you have the cumulative flow diagram and the control chart, which are more relevant to Kanban projects. Now in the next gen project, it is a bit different. So next gen scrum and Kanban, there are very limited reports. So if I go to the next gen scrum, and open the reports that are available there so you will get only these four reports so burn up report sprint burn down velocity report and cumulative flow diagram now this is because the next gen project are meant to be very simple and with limited functionality so jira has introduced next gen project with the limited functionality so that is why you don't get all the comprehensive reports that you will get into the the classic projects of jira so this is about the next gen scrum if we go back to the next gen kanban let me open next gen kanban and in the next gen kanban you will have the report so here the reports is not enabled so in order to enable reports go to the project settings and go to the features and here the reports is turned off right so we have to basically turn on the report okay so this toggle is turned off at the moment i'll turn it off and then if you go back to the next gen kanban project you will have this report option available so if i go to the reports now i'll see the reports that are available for the next gen kanban so the reports that are available there are the burn up report 
sprint burn down chart velocity report and cumulative flow diagram which is more relevant of you know uh, the kanban now this burn up report and the burn down chart and velocity report these are the reports which are more relevant to sprints or iterations now because you know in the kanban there is a continuous flow of work you might work within the sprint or within the iteration you can you can have your project team working in the two to four week cycle and picking up the issues and finishing those within that cycle but usually in kanban it's continuous flow of work so if you are looking for a burn up report or a sprint burn down chart your project should be working into the sprints so you should be creating a kanban project but then creating sprints to manage the work within the next gen Kanban. All right. So that's all about the available reports in Jira in different types of projects. So we have covered about the next gen uh, classic and next gen, uh, next gen Scrum and next gen Kanban along with classic Scrum and classic Kanban project. And we have also navigated through the report section of each of these projects and seen what all reports are available. So this is the introductory part of the report. In the next tutorial, I'll cover very important and the most widely used reports. And then if you, you know, want to cover any more reports that you uh, want that you are using in your pro uh, project, please comment out in the comment section and I'll cover or I'll create a video to explain about that specific report in this particular tutorial. So that's all for this tutorial. Hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching.